Hello everyone, welcome back again to your special tube and this is the last episode in data preparation for land slash susceptibility mapping in my study area. Today's video focus on how to compute land use land cover data from the different data hub and you can also generate land use land cover map using any GIS platform with the help of different satellite image. It can be Landsat or Sentinel. So uh, you can compute with the help of supervised or unsupervised classification. For this practical exercise, I would like to show you how to download land use land cover from Sentinel data from the data hub that uh, I put in the description below. And I will show you how to reclassify on the basis of our threshold. Let's get started. First of all, land use land cover is one of the determinant factor for landslide susceptibility. Area with a coverage of trees or vegetation is low susceptible, whereas area of settlement and bare area are highly susceptible for landslide. So, first step that we have going to do is we need to obtain the land use land cover data for this practical exercise. I will i would like to use sentinel land use land cover and click here and it directly redirect to the brief description about the data set for instance sentinel 2 land use land cover data have a spatial resolution of 10 meter and uh, there is a projection the projection of the raster data set is available on universal transfer mercator or projector coordinate system. The other is the class name. So the land use land cover classes are listed here. Within a raster data set, you obtain one, two, four, five. Um, so we need to know one means water body, two is tree, four is flooded vegetation, four is crop, five is Cropland, seven is built up area of settlement, eight is beer ground, uh, and 11 is range land. So we need uh, to know this legend. So to download this, what we are going to do is go to view, click here, and it is directly linked to this. As you see, the land use land cover for 2021 is available at a global scale and you can search your area of interest and you can click the tile and download the data set. For instance, you can click here and the data set is available from 2017 up to 2021. If someone is interested to download 2017, you can click and download any tile. So uh, the full video is available and I'll put the whole process how to download uh, this data set. So let's get back to ArcGIS Pro. I have downloaded the file that is available in my study area. So the first step to compute land use land cover for landslide susceptibility mapping is we need to extract out or clip out the raster data set on the basis of our uh, area of interest to perform that go to geoprocessing. From geoprocessing, we need to select spatial analysis tool. This is spatial analyst. From spatial analyst extraction and extract by mask is a tool that we use to clip out a raster data. The input raster is the larger uh, land use land cover, the tile and the input raster or mask layer is this administrative unit so the word of boundary is the area of interest finally you can provide your name as land use land cover for kk and finally hit run and you come up with a result of land use land cover for our steady area this is the final product that I have clipped from the national data and let me remove this one. And let's explore. This is a land use land cover map of this study area. 
so I do have about six classes one means water body two is vegetation five is cropland seven is settlement ten is uh, cloud it seems like a bear land and 11 is rangeland so the next step is let's uh, have let's go to the attribute table open attribute table then let me provide land use land cover class for better visualization and for better understanding go to add and let me give the field name as land use land cover classes this is data type is text because land use land cover class is textual format and save it that the, the column name or the field name directly let's get back to the attribute table class one means water body this let's write as water body two is vegetation three uh, five in this case is cropland cropland seven settlement and ten is let's give us bear eleven is rangeland rangeland is some kind of land use as rangeland so let's get back to reclassify the raster data on the basis of the threshold that we have on the excel sheet let's evaluate first of all the land use land cover class if a certain land use land cover is covered by water body this is very low susceptible because uh, water body lays within a lowland area particularly if it is lakes uh, if the land use land cover is vegetation or forest it is very low susceptible because plant root can stabilize uh, the soil and it, it reduces erosion and slope failure therefore landslide susceptibility within a coverage of forest is very low if it is uh, grassland or rangeland it is moderately susceptible if it is bush moderately susceptible cultivated land high susceptible settlement very high susceptible and bear land is very high susceptible on the basis of this i would like to reclassify our land use land cover map of my steady area so let's go to reclass and select reclassify input data set is the land use land cover and click classify So, the reclass five field is uh, the land use land cover class, and finally we come up with the unique value. So, water body is very low susceptible on the basis of our threshold. So, one vegetation. Let's check it. Let's provide vegetation. Uh, low susceptible, low susceptible is 2 cropland is uh, on the base of our criteria the cultivator land is highly susceptible, highly susceptible is 4 and settlement the settlement is also, let's have a look, settlement very high susceptible, 5 This is five. Uh, bear is five. Rangeland is moderate. It is three. So on the basis of this, let's reclassify it. Or the other way. Let me show you the other way. Let's add another column that identifies the class of. 